This Home is Here digital exclusive is brought to you by Atlas Insurance Agency, First Hawaiian Bank, Pesha Hawaii, and Locations. Okay, welcome to Amana Comics headquarters. Uh, and this is basically where the magic happens. Hello everybody, my name is Christopher Caravallo. I currently work as a law enforcement officer for HPD, uh, but I moonlight as a comic creator for Mana Comics. Mana Comics is a local comic book company that creates and showcases local superheroes. So for our first issue in 2014 that we did, it was called the Amakua. And the Amakua is basically like guardians. They're guardians of Hawaii, and they are of mixed cultures. The comic book itself is a superhero type comic book, but set in the present day Hawaii. So we have characters such as the Royal Hawaiian Guard, uh, Gecko Man, Sister Shark, Mighty Moke, Porygi Man of War. So it's a motley mixed plate of uh, characters that's really fun and enjoyable for those who live here. Back when I was a kid and I was raised on Saturday morning cartoons and I, I love the spin rack at 7-Eleven um, but what I started to notice in the comic books is there was nothing from Hawaii. I didn't see any like superheroes that were from these islands so I wanted to see uh, you know what would it look like if there were superheroes that lived on Oahu the big island. I wanted to see it all over here so I decided uh, much later that um, you know it's possible and I can do this. On the walls, you'll see the varying different covers that we have. Uh, also some artwork from some of the, uh, not just me, but other local creators that have helped out in the past. We got some John Murakami, Sam Campos, the cover. So currently, um, Peli is what we're working on. This is where we started in 2014 with Amakua, but I wanted to try something different with Pele. What I wanted to do is a present day tale of Pele. And I, I wanted people to look, not just realize that, you know, she does destroy things, however, she is a creator. So I wanted to give her a definitely more human type of emotions in this story by revealing a different side of her. And you can totally see of what she is experiencing and what she wants for the people of Hawaii to be learning and to do and to take care of the island that she helped create. So this is gonna be a great tale. This is coming out very soon. So you will see this hardworking gentleman over here. This is Chris Loman. He is actually has been there since the first first issue that we had of Amaku number one back in 2014. I uh, met up with Chris at this uh, comic jam, and I says, "Hey, are you interested in doing a book with me?" He basically said, you can, "I'm going to get paid, right?" <laughs> but uh, you know, he, I said yes, and I think this is this is what I want to pitch to you, which was that local superhero team from Hawaii, and he he was more than gracious to um, donate his time. When we do get the story, I have to actually break it down into different panels because it's not always broken down to that. Um, a lot of times it is, but it'll have like dialogue, just what's you know happening, what's going on, but I have to kind of pace it out to make sure that the story flows, that you can follow the story, and that there's space for dialogue, that there's enough room for captions. That's mainly what I'm doing when I'm laying out the page. And then once Chris approves that or is good with how I've laid it out, then I'll go in and fine tune the details. We've always tried to include details that are um, important to, you know, Hawaii. For example, in our very first issue of Almakua, um, we have Super Size Sole grabbing his slipper to start hitting the um, monsters that they're fighting because, I mean, that's what you do with roaches, you know, er everyone does it here. And we hope that, you know, people get that you know because that's what we're really trying to do to capture that essence and convey that and make people feel something you know when we're doing the stories another book that i'm really proud of too is actually this kamehameha one uh currently it's going to be in a trade back in a flip form so we have it in english but we also have it in olelo so um, this is thanks to the partnership with uh, kamehameha schools this internship program also with uh, the department of education reaching out to me and other schools that want to be a part of learning Kamehameha in this style rather than a textbook. So I think, it, like I was saying before, this is a really good uh, gateway for kids to get excited about reading and excited to learn about the Hawaiian culture. My passion, I guess, has always been like comic books and stories. 
that is something that gets me pumped up and excited. And I wanted to share that excitement with kids, with Keiki, with that next people who may be inspired or like from a story that I make, like I did when I was young, like a story that, you know, like if I was having a bad day, they read one of my issues and they're like, and they forget about their problems or just that little time. And they get excited about reading and, you know, this just brings them joy by doing that, by creating these books. I mean, that's, that's the vision. That's where I want to go is just make people, make this world a better place.